Welcome to Beit Bushra. I'm Bushra. I'm Jenna. And I'm Alia. This is my home. And today we are making carrot cake. Now, I know a lot of people like to have carrot cake in the spring, I think. But I like to have my carrot cake in the fall. And don't know what it is. Probably like the spicy warm flavors. So we're gonna start um, with pre-measured the flour. And I have my buddies here are gonna help me. So we're gonna add everything dry first into this. It's a nice fat spoon of that. I poured it. Put it right yeah. here. Put it right in there. And then we're gonna need two teaspoons of the baking soda. Are they all together? <laughs> are you? <laughs> so just mix this. Really well. It's really well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have guests, usually I just order people around. And then you guys get to enjoy cooking. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, nice job. The vanilla. And it looks it looks like a lot of vanilla. Oh, my name, what's your job? What's your job here? She's behind the scenes. She's behind the scenes everything. The rubber one. This is cute. I like it. Okay. There you go. So just whisk it. Whisk these first. Yeah, whisk me first. Wait. Think of it as like an extension of your hand and you're just fluffing it. Cool. Thank you. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This cake is very, very friendly. It's very forgiving. So you just add everything together into the same pot. Same bowl. <laughs> That's how I do it. Um, and I find it works best that way. So let's add this here. It smells really good, right? Yeah. Oh. It makes a big cake. Okay, carrots go in there. And these go in there also. Here. Put it in, Jenna. And this away. No. I'm excited. No. Are you excited for this? Yeah. You mix the those ingredients with the dry oh, yeah. with the you kind of coat them with the flour because what it does is makes them evenly distributed throughout your cake instead of like lumped at the bottom or lumped whatever at the top. Oh, oh we should have broken these up. Sorry, it's all good, whatever. Let's just pretend that was on purpose. Don't over mix. So just go until it's evenly incorporated, and I'm gonna go through the whole thing. Look at that. Y'all don't spin that. <laughs> like one day I can smell this. Yeah, it yeah. smells really good. It does, yeah. right? I just want to eat it now. Oh my god, you guys, this is gonna taste so good, inshallah. Buy the pineapple cans in um, in its mm. own juice. Like sometimes they sell the, the pineapples in syrup. Don't do that. I am to come to my house every Saturday and do these with me because she's kind of amazing. Are we gonna do another one? Nope. No. Okay. Well, I guess right? we it fit into this pan. And we're just gonna wait for the oven to preheat and then we're gonna stick this into the oven. It's gonna cook for a long time. It's gonna cook for about an hour, between 45 minutes to an hour. And that is a big range and that's because every oven is different. So make sure you check on your cake when it's coming closer to yeah. 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. And then to make sure that it is completely cooked through, just stick a toothpick through it. It should come out clean. That's when you know it's done. And enjoy um, responsibly because it's very easy to eat the whole thing by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll do that inshallah. So our cake has come out of the oven and it smells so good. Everyone is telling me that the the smell has basically filled the whole house. You see like this lovely crack texture. It's caramelized. You've got all the pineapples in there and all the walnuts and I'm so excited to eat this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, let me know by liking the video and leaving me a comment below. And special thanks to, um, oh, <laughs> to Mariam and her brothers and sisters. She was my behind the scenes woman and she did a lot of hard work. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time, inshallah.